all right what is going on guys welcome back to another video yeah it's kind of cold out here i'm not even gonna lie it's like really cold and that sound really stuffy too wow anywho uh today we're gonna be taking off the headers off the camaro to install a header wrap on them and to fix the header gasket because for some reason the right uh the passenger side header gasket blew out i don't know how it happened that fast literally the headers i haven't even been installed for a year it'll be a year in february that i had these headers installed and the gasket already went out so i just ordered another set of gaskets to put on the car i don't i still don't know how the like the gasket blew out but it's whatever i ordered more so I'm going to get that slapped on there, or I'm going to wrap the headers, then get that slapped on there, then put them back together. Shouldn't take me that long. Hopefully, it shouldn't take me that long. Because when I first put these headers on, oh my god, that was a nightmare. That took me like five hours or so. I have a new, like, I have some new power tools, or just new tools in general, so it should go by much faster. I already took out, like, I think a, maybe the, the whole top row of the bolts for the passenger side so far. I just forgot to start the video. I was gonna make the video or start the video, but I just started working on it. And I'm like, dang, I really like this new tool set. This is like my first time using it. I'm like, damn, I really like this new tool set. Uh, but the Craftsman uh, electric um, ratcheting wrench is amazing. Literally took out those two bolts for less than five minutes. So yeah, I'm gonna continue to hit, on, hit that up, finish that up, uh, take out the other side as well. The other side should be a whole lot easier because there's a whole lot more room. I don't have to deal with the fuse box and all these freaking lines and whatnot. So hopefully that side is easier uh, to deal with. But yeah, let's get into the video. Thing on. Easy that one out. Alrighty, so we got the header gasket out. And this is what the sucker looks like. So yeah, this is why the sucker wasn't sealed. I'm not sure why it looks like this right now that is weird like it must have been like a defective part or something like that but yeah that's how that happened and that's why my car was like making that exhaust leak noise and uh, overall just sounded horrible so yeah got that i hope now nah, i just gotta unbolt the bottom part and take the uh o2 sensor out and that here will be finished uh being installed <sighs> all right all right so passenger side header is out I'm probably going to just set this on the grass real quick and then take care of the... Damn, there's a lot of carbon build up in these. Sheesh. Uh, yeah, I'm going to get these cleaned up. and I'm, uh, Actually, I'm probably not even going to clean them. I'm probably just going to wrap them since it, the uh, wrap doesn't need to cling to it. So, yeah, yeah, that... I wish it was just easy to put these motherfuckers on the first time because man i struggled for like hours to get those on all right but here we go with this side this side should go by much faster because there's a lot more room for me to get my uh electric wrench in here <sighs> i'm out of breath i need to go back to the gym uh <laughs> uh but yeah that should be pretty easy to do i'm not thinking about it like i had to redo my starter and i'm looking at it, i'm like damn how the hell did they do my starter without taking off my headers? Anywho, yeah, I'm gonna get this part taken off. It should take me like maybe five, 10 minutes, hopefully. And we should go from there. So yeah, I'll catch up with you guys in a second. Alrighty, so inspecting this next gasket, uh, just in case I thought I had to replace it. Oh yeah, so I was looking at the gasket just to make sure like everything is good with this one, just in case I need to replace this one as well, since I have two. Um, this one actually looks good, like, it looks really i know it's hard to see on camera but this one looks good so i'm surprised that that left side blew out or the right or the passenger side blew out so fast and all the bolts were in so i'm not sure why they did that but yeah like that passenger side one was completely just disintegrated i have no idea how that happened but i'm gonna get down there and unbolt all that stuff down there which will take me like another second like this went by so fast unbolting all this crap with the new uh craftsman electric wrench i have compared to just using freaking hand tools but yeah i'm gonna get down there and unbolt all that crap and just like that within 20 minutes i got the headers out man i wish it was that easy to install these suckers like i struggled so hard the first time putting these suckers in because i didn't know what i was doing but now that i know what i'm doing i literally took those suckers out in 20 minutes and i'm pretty sure it's gonna be that easy to put them back in so yeah i'm gonna put all my tools away and run inside and get those wrapped up i don't know how long the wrap is gonna take but uh yeah i'm gonna get my tools all put back together and put those in the car 
and we shall be on with the video. Alrighty, so once again, this is what the freaking header gasket looks like. Literally just gone, like you can see through. You can see through it, like it's crazy. But yeah, let's get the headers wrapped. I'm gonna do it in my bathroom because I gotta use water and whatnot. So yeah. Alrighty, so I have a mask on, so yeah, maybe a little bit harder to hear me. And I got gloves on as well. Like these are my motorcycle gloves. I couldn't find my freaking work gloves. I have no idea what to do with them. But yeah, I, I have mechanic gloves that I use when I ever work on my car, but I can't find them. So yeah, uh, hopefully I'm able to use these gloves because they're really really stiff <laughs> but yeah so I, I gotta wet these right here and then start wrapping it around the header i didn't get the silicone or not the silicone the ceramic uh spray because i feel like i don't need it it's mainly it's not even really for anything special it's just to keep the wrap like keep the wraps color so i've i decided not to get it i'm just going to double wrap the headers for security and try to keep as much heat in as possible because I looked at my starter and it is burning another hole through the starter wire. So hopefully I don't have to replace that. I'm gonna wrap it up with some uh, uh, some electrical tape so it doesn't like uh, short out on anything again. And hopefully that'll be okay. But yeah, I'm gonna double wrap these. I have two of them. Uh, supposedly one can do two uh, headers. So hopefully I just use both of these wraps for um, both these wraps for each header or one wrap for one header no another wrap for the other header because like after i'm finished with it i won't need any wrap at all so hopefully i can get through all of it but compared to like other headers these literally like if i come right here let me see if the camera can see it so if i come right here like they don't really like come down to one collector uh, that is long this one is just short and stubby so i'm probably going to have a lot of excess left over that I won't know what to do with. So, yeah, let's get this going because uh, it's hard to breathe in this damn mask. All right, let's get this going. Man, this freaking trust mount is way better than my head mount. <laughs> right into our first issue. I can't open a package up with these goddamn gloves on. There we go. So, I have long sleeves on as well so because they say carbon fiber, not carbon fiber. Fiberglass is really, I can even see it, oh my god. Uh, but they say the fiberglass is really um, itchy. And I hate being itchy, so I don't want to find out. Alrighty. Let's wet this up. Man, I can feel the fiberglass like poking through my gloves. Holy crap. And these are like really good gloves. Really expensive gloves too. Hopefully I don't mess them up. Oh, I don't have scissors. Oh, I don't have scissors. Oh, this is bad. Oh, this is very bad. Uh, shoot. I do not have scissors. Okay, pause on this. Okay, we are back. So another reason why I'm doing this is because I want, uh, I'm trying to get like temperatures in my engine bay down as much as possible because, oof, let me get this through real fast, uh, because like the 2010s to 2011s have real bad heat soak problems with the uh, cast iron manifold compared to the plastic one that the LG X and the LFX has. So like by being cast uh, iron, it retains heat much more than the, than the uh, plastic one. So this is all in efforts to lower my uh, temperatures in my engine bay. So one, I can stop burning up wires as well because these headers have burnt so many wires so far and they're literally less than a year of life. <laughs> this is honestly not as bad as I thought it was. I'm using a lot of strength though. So that's why I'm breathing like kind of hard because I got to like pull this crap tight as hell. I don't think I got enough. I'm gonna have to rewrap it. Alrighty, 
so this is hitter number one completely finished so i had to start up here as like they come together because these two run so close to where this hitter only got wrapped to about right here starting all the way up so i had to double wrap it or not double wrap but triple wrap them all the way around and then I just double wrap this one for these two since they're so close, it's hard to get the wrap in between it, each one of them. So yeah, that's how we did that. Doesn't look too bad. I, I like it. I should have wrapped these at the top so they're not in the middle, but it's whatever, I had to trim those anyway. But yeah, let's get on with the, I think this is a passenger side hitter. Yeah, that's the passenger side hitter. So let's get on with the driver side hitter and then we can get these back installed on the car. I just came back from war with these damn hitters. Oh my God. It's hard to breathe with a damn mask on. My hands, my gloves are covered with fiberglass. I just realized I'm gonna have to use my gloves to install these again, so that's about to be fun. There you go, uh, finish this hitter up right here. Now I'm about to go bring it to, oh my god, I can barely breathe. I'm about to go bring it to the car and get it back installed on. Got to get the header gasket. And it should be back on within like 20, 30 minutes. Hopefully. But yeah, let's go to the car. All right, so we got the driver's side header in. That was pretty fast. I The only thing I struggled with was I put the collector in first. And then I tried to bolt it up to the engine. And I had the full weight of the exhaust trying to hit, like pick it up by the headers, and it was just a nightmare. So I had to jack it up a little bit to help me out because literally the full weight of the entire exhaust was just hanging. So <laughs> that, that, yeah, yeah, that that was that was a difficult part. That's the only part that took me like the longest. I got to reinstall the dipstick really fast and then get that zip back in. Uh, then I got to do uh, passenger side, and that'll be all done. And I gotta remember to put a freaking gasket on. I didn't have to put a gasket on this side because I already had the gasket. So that was pretty much easy to take care of. Just like the other that gasket was already attached to the engine. I should have changed it out while I had the chance since I had it open, but it's whatever. I don't, if it's not broken, I'm not gonna fix it. So I just shocked myself. What the freak? I don't know how I did that. Like I touched this and I touched that at the same time and I like shocked myself. That was weird. Anywho, um, gonna continue on with the journey it's almost done this is literally i wish it was this easy when i first did it i wish i had the knowledge i have now because i would have literally finished just in like an hour less than that because it's, it's already going on like five minutes and i already got one side in and well this is not the hard side this is the easy side because of how much space it has but this is i don't even know but is that the bleeder valve for my trend okay anywho yeah let's get this Alrighty, we got the car started and it is not ticking anymore, thank God. That, that tick was getting annoying. Uh, but the hitters are burning off the uh, fiberglass uh, wrap. So it's going to do that for like a while. Uh, since I double wrapped it, I'm going to get out of the way of that because I don't want to breathe it in because it probably harm the fumes. Uh, but since it's been doing that for a while, I'm pretty sure it's burning through both layers since I like double or triple wrapped it pretty much. So yeah, I'm going to leave the hood open for a second to let it like get out as much as possible. So I don't think my car is on fire, but I'm gonna take it around for a little bit, drive it around, and I gotta figure out why my rear tire or rear section right here is grinding. I'm not sure why. I replaced all four rotors, seemed to fix it for like a day, and then it went back to grinding. So I think something is going on back there. So I'll figure out what it is soon. 